I was talking about love, and I could see the way you walked in love. Love's very important, isn't it? Love. The Americans, any Americans in love. Love it just makes the world go round. Somebody said to Murphy one time, do you talk to your wife when you're making love? He says, I do if there's a phone handy. <laughs> But no, see, there's not that many people in love. Well, yeah, hands up, anybody in tonight, all the people tonight here are having an affair. <laughs> so many liars in the one house, isn't it? Correct? <laughs> ah, no, you're nobody now unless you're having an affair. A lot of it going on, isn't there? A lot of that. A lot of men going with loose women. And going with tight women and all sorts of women. <laughs> and I have no time for that. As I was saying to the wife's sister in the bed the other morning, she said... <laughs> Murphy, Murphy, Mrs. Murphy, Mrs. Murphy, she was having a wee affair. She was having a fling with Casey from next door, you know. And they were having a wee fling, you know. And, and one, one evening, the two of them were in bed in Murphy's house, you see. And they are you know, they don't, 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 don't carry on. And, and, and the next thing, the phone rang beside the bed. And, and, and Mrs. Murphy, she, she, she answered. She said, oh, yes. It's, yes. Oh, yeah, no problem. No, that's dead on. No problem. No problem. Cheerio, good luck. See you later. Bye. And she hung up, you see. And, and Casey, he was a wee bit worried. He says, he says who was that? And Murphy says, uh, Mrs. Murphy says, that was my husband, Murphy. She said, but well, what do you want? No, she says, don't, you're all right. Don't panic, you're all right. She says, he was just calling to say that he'd be late home this evening. He said he's down in the bar having a few drinks with you. <laughs> Who do you write to there, huh? <laughs> But there is, isn't it? It's nice, it's not a lot of romance. Isn't a romance hard to beat? Like, lovely story, actually, lovely story about another couple, and they were having the wee fling as well. They were down, down, jiggy jiggy. What do you, what do you call it? They carry on. And, 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 the t <laughs> and, and, and the two of them, they were, they were, they were in bed, you see, and, and the husband was working late, and they were upstairs in his house, you see, his wife and then your man, too, and, and the husband working late, and they were in the bed, and the next thing we got, they heard the front door opening and closing, and your man shut up in the bed. He says, What's that? She says, Oh my God, oh my God, she says, My husband, he's home early. And your man jumped out of the bed. What are we going to do? She says, don't panic. Don't panic. Says, what about my clothes? What about my clothes? She says, you don't have time for your clothes. What am I going to do? She says, I'll tell you what you'll do. Go over beside the bathroom door. So she went over beside the bathroom door. He did. And he stood there, nothing on him. And she says, stand still and don't move. And he stood like that and didn't move. No, she says, don't stand like that. Stand. That was a bit of pose. Stand, stand like that. <laughs> and he, he stood like that, naked, nothing on him. Standing there, like a grandfather clock, you know. And, <laughs> <laughs> Took you a wee while there, but you got it. <laughs> she, and he's standing there, he's standing there like that. And then she, she went into the bathroom and she came out with talcum powder and she covered him in talcum powder, rubbed it all over. He was pure white. And he stood there. And she said, Don't move a muscle. And he's standing there. And she got into the bed and she, just about two minutes later, the door opened, the bedroom door opened, and walked the husband. And he spots your man standing beside the bathroom door. And he says to the wife, He said, he said what, What's this? What's this? And she's in the bed, she, oh, that, she says, that, that's a statue. That's a statue that I got for the room. She says, I think it's just a beautiful piece. I think it sets the room off lovely. She says, I saw one in the Riley's house and I thought it would, would look lovely here once so I got one, she says, you know. All right, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so he hopped into bed and the two of them went to sleep and about two hours later, the husband, he got up at half two in the morning, the husband got up, put on the slippers and the dressing gown, headed down the stairs, down to the kitchen. He made a cup of tea and a ham sandwich and he came back up, up to the room with a cup of tea and the ham sandwich. And he walked over to your man beside the bathroom door. And he says, listen, he says, here's a cup of tea and a ham sandwich. He said, I stood in the Riley's house for three days and nobody offered me a <laughs> <laughs> You see, who do you write to about that? God is lovely to see you all, do you know sir? I, 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 had a, I had a great friend of mine at home, ladies and gentlemen, a great friend of mine at home, Aggie, they called her. There's nobody here called Aggie, I'm not getting ideas, but, but Big Aggie, we used to call her, for she was a fair big woman, you know, there were a lot of her in it. She was well built. As I say at home, she was well put together, do you know? But Lord save us, you know, she got older and older. She, she, she went into an old people's home, you know, at home. And, and, and uh, actually was there, but, you know, she was a sort of an exciting kind of a woman herself. And it would have been too, too quiet for her, you know. That, uh, you know that I remember one time uh, her and sister actually went, went on holidays to Spain. The first time was back in the 70s. Big Aggie and her sister Maggie. Big Aggie and Big Maggie. The two of them went to Spain. And, and the two of them were sitting on a beach in Spain. And remember that time? Remember that time when there was a streaking craze? Do you remember streaking? <laughs> remember when boys would take off all their clothes and go for a run? Remember, nothing on them, naked. 
And Big Aggie and Big Maggie sitting in the two deck chairs in the Spain one day on the beach. And next month, this young Spanish boy went flying down the beach past him, not a tother on him. <laughs> oh, God. And, and, and Big Maggie, she had a stroke. <laughs> and Aggie couldn't reach. But... <laughs> But you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? She was that kind of a lively person, but she ended up, she got older anyway, she ended up anyway in the old people's home, and, and, and she was sitting in the, in the women's ward one day, and she was, you know, she was, things was a wee bit too quiet for her, you know, and she thought she would liven things up, but she was after thinking on the young lad in Spain, and she thought, she, 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 would, do, she would do a streak. Now, she was 87. <laughs> she'd take game to the last, so Aggie anyway, she'd, she'd have off all the clothes, nothing on her, and she headed down through the women's ward for a streak, you know, she, but I mean, no, she wasn't going that fast, but she was going, you know, and she had down through the women's ward and out the door and straight down the corridor and into the men's ward and down through the middle of the men's ward and her thundering along and doing nothing on her, everything. And then as she went out the back door of the men's ward, there were two old boys sitting beside the door, Alec and Wooly. And Alec looked up and after she went past, he says, well, Wooly, uh, who, who, who was that was after going past? And, and Wooly says, God, Alec, he says, I think that was Big Aggie from the women's ward. Was it? He says, and what was that she was wearing, Wooly? <laughs> She says, I don't know, Alec, but whatever it was, it needed ironing. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>